Hey guys, I am currently in a cozy cabin in Sweden and what better place to learn some Photoshop? So I thought we'd make a short video series of some tips and tricks, stuff that I use every day but I tend to forget. The kind of stuff where you lean over and watch some other designers work and you're like, huh, I didn't know you could do that or this little trick or this little thing. And I'll see if I can gather some of those up into a tiny little video series of, of these neat little tricks and shortcuts and things that we use every day but we kind of forget are there. So in this first video I'm going to show you how to select any layer without having to rummage through your layers palette. I use this every day. It's super simple. Um, what usually happens is that people when they go look for something they have re these really complex PSD files when they go look for something they'll go out here in the, uh, the layers palette and they'll start opening and closing folders and looking through poorly named layers to find what they're looking for. So you can hit option and then you can right click the mouse. And what that will do is it'll basically select the very first layer in, in, in the path of the mouse. So in this case, that's the uh, televised app icon. Now we, we pretty much have that selected. That works really well when you have a huge PSD file with tons and tons of layers and you don't want to go digging through uh, the layers palette. Super cool little thing. So I just want to show you a situation where it doesn't work that well but might still be useful. In this case I want to do the same thing. I want to try and select this icon here with the, the hammer and I'll do the same thing. I'll hit option. I'll right click the mouse and what you see is that it's selected a masked layer on top of that layer. That's because that's sort of above in the stack, so it, it hits that layer first. But I'd say it's still pretty useful. Um, in this case, the, the layer that I was looking for was, was right underneath, right here. I'd say it's, it's at least a lot faster to do this than go through your layers palette and look, look for those individual layers. So that's a neat little trick for you. That's option right click to select any layer. 